Well, welcome back, royal gang. Welcome to my bed. <laughs> but as you can see from the title, we're about to do some packing, a little haul, okay? Make sure y'all stay locked in. First things first, we got Old Faithful. We got our suitcase ready. And we still have some stuff in it from last time. So we still have our sunscreen and a little light jacket that I like to bring. So now it's time to play Tetris and get all these clothes in the suitcase. Y'all ready? All right, guys. So as you can see, we have everything laid out on the bed. Excuse my bedroom, y'all, okay? It, it needs some tidying up. But we have everything that we're taking on the bed, other than toiletry items. But we do have our toiletry bag right here, which I'll show you guys in a minute. We have our fanny pack here. We have our hat. This time we are doing something special. We're doing some ducks, y'all. We're doing some ducks, courtesy of Queen Bee TV. As you can see, we have our swimsuits and cover-ups, three different ones. We have tennis shoes and socks. Always make sure you bring some shoes, tennis shoes and socks, okay guys? Underneath those are my water shoes. We have our elegant night shoes and then just some uh, flats. We have our dinner outfits there laid out in the back, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. We have some matching sets. We have our shapewear. We have some pants and shorts. We have some t-shirts, tops. We have our bras, our undergarments. We have our backpack, which is normally my carry-on. This is what I put all my important stuff in and my toiletry bag. And then we got this cute little bag as a gift from one of our hauls. So as y'all can see, I did order one of my formal outfits from X Plus Wear. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so first things first, let's get into my toiletry bag. So it does open up, has Velcro. You can hang it up, <clears throat> excuse me y'all. It has a hook, so you can hang it up. It has different pockets all around it. Um, as you can see, I normally take, this is stuff that I've already had in my toiletry bag. So I have a travel toothbrush. Um, I bring my toothpaste, of course. I have some Q-tips and cotton balls because they come in handy, y'all. Um, on the inside, I have my makeup brushes. Um, so I put my makeup brushes in here. I have contact solution, which I haven't put my contacts in here yet. I have travel body lotion, travel shower gel, and travel body spray. I also bring uh, wet wipes for my face when I want to get my makeup off. And then I put all my makeup and all that jazz in here. And I put this in my carry-on backpack. So that's what goes in, well, along with deodorant and, you know, stuff like that. So all your toiletries. Okay, y'all, let's get into my Timu haul. Okay, I did order some things from Timu, not all at the same time. I've kind of been ordering bits and pieces here and there. Um, but you know, it's big queen energy. This is my birthday cruise, so it's a lot of queen attire, okay? All right, so first things first, we did get a matching set, as you can see. Queen, it has a nice little slit in it, okay? And it has pants that go with it as well, that match. So that's the first Timu outfit. The second Timu outfit is actually a matching outfit. So this one, it says Chase Bag, these are uh, biker shorts. And then chase a bag shirt with the slits on the side. Okay. Then last but not least, we have like a tie-dye biker short. And another shirt with slits on the side that says queen with the tie-dye print on it as well. So yes, royal affair, royal gang, royal affair. So this outfit, guys, y'all probably seen it before on another cruise vlog. But it's biker shorts, red and a little halter top that also says queen with the crown as well. This isn't from Timu, I think I got this from Walmart. But you know, big queen energy y'all, we're taking all the queen stuff. So that's not Timu, but we are taking that. I did order ducks from Timu y'all, okay? 
and they came with tags. It has the YouTube channel as well as my uh, TikTok and Instagram. Um, gonna be my first time hiding ducks. So make sure y'all stay on the lookout for my duckies. And if you find them, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, okay? Because they're gonna be on there. So make sure you look for them. All right, next up on the Timu haul is my fanny pack, which is awesome because it has so many zippers. So you have a zipper up front, you have a middle zipper, you have a back zipper, then you have a back back zipper. So it is full of pockets. I have my Bluetooth AirPods in there. So yes, we're gonna put our you know little things that we wanna carry around on the ship with us in here. So make sure you get a fanny pack, y'all. It comes in handy because I'm not carrying no purse, okay? Okay guys, so we've done the Timu haul. That's pretty much everything that I got from Timu. Um, the next thing is X Plus Wear, okay? As y'all saw that uh, little travel bag that they sent, the little tote bag, I did order my birthday outfit. Y'all know I'm gonna give me a new birthday outfit every year, okay? Every year. So let me show y'all what I got. I'm also gonna insert a picture because it being on a hanger right now doesn't do it justice and it does look exactly like the picture. So let me show you. Okay, y'all, so it is a top and bottom. These are the pants, and they're like a flare leg ombre colored pants. Then it has a jacket with two buttons. Right now, like I said again, on, being on a hanger right now, it doesn't do it justice. I'm gonna insert that picture right here so you can see it. Um, also, I am still gonna take it to the cleaners so that I can get it steamed because it's a silky satin texture so it has wrinkles from just being in the packaging in the mail. So we're going to have to go and take this before we can pack it to go get steamed and probably keep it on a hanger when we bring it on the ship. So just FYI, bring you some uh, wrinkle free spray, something like that. If you're going to wear something that's silky and satin. All right, guys, it's time to start playing Tetris. We got to figure out how to get all of those clothes that you just saw, saw me show you into this suitcase, y'all. Okay. Y'all ready? Y'all about to go in fast forward. So let's get it. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world. But I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say, I do. Because All right, guys. So we have our swimsuits, cover-ups. Uh, sunscreen, all everything you saw on the bed is now in the suitcase. My shoes are under here in the zipper compartment. My toiletry bag, as you know, is not going in my suitcase. It's going in my carry-on. So let's see if we can get this bad boy closed. Let's get it. I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my. All right, guys, I'm exhausted from that packing, but we're pretty much done for the most part. Like I told y'all earlier, I got to go get my birthday outfit steamed at the cleaners. Um, I did realize that y'all didn't see me pack any undergarments. That's because I haven't put them in there yet. So I'm gonna have to reopen that suitcase and put undergarments in there, um, as well as a couple of pairs of sandals that I'm thinking about taking that I haven't decided on. So those aren't in there either. Um, so there are a few things that still aren't packed. Of course, my toiletry bag, I wait until the day of to finish packing everything because I'm gonna need my makeup. I need my you know, deodorant and things like that. I also bring my, um, my loofah and my own soap um, I don't like the ship soap, so I normally put that in my bag as well. So those are a few things that still have to go in my suitcase as well as my carry-on. So that is the packing haul, of course. Um, but I did want to touch on some life updates with you guys as well. I had to get comfortable in the bed, y'all. I'm hot. I feel like I'm a little sweaty at this point. But anyways, 
So life updates. Um, if you guys follow me from TikTok, you know that me and my boyfriend, we had a little domestic issue a couple months ago where some things happened and he was gone for a couple months. Well, he's back, y'all. Um, he spent some time away getting himself together. I'm not saying every situation is the same, guys. Um, you definitely want to still, you know, be aware of what's going on, but um, I'm not going to say every domestic situation turns out the same. Everybody doesn't deserve a second chance. So definitely do your due diligence and your own healing journey before you're willing to take those next steps. But um, so far, so good. Um, we're back together. Um, we just, you know, been trying to take things a little bit slower, but, you know, we're everything's cool for the most part. So nothing crazy or arguments or anything like that has transpired. So everything is cool. Um, he is going on the trip. He was originally supposed to go on the trip, but I did take him off the trip when we split up. So we just added him back on the trip. And as a travel agent, I'm letting you know, if you make any changes after a uh, final payment, you will incur a penalty. Okay. So the penalty, guys, if you make, like, let's say, it depends on what your deposit was, honestly. If you booked on a special, they're going to charge you a penalty. So my special was $50 deposits. So when I removed him from the booking, they charged me a $50 um, penalty. Um, then to add him back on, it was just the taxes, fees, port expenses, and the gratuities to add him back onto the trip. Um, you do want to be careful about adding people on, though, after final payment, because sometimes those um, cruise deals that you had when you initially booked may not be available when you want to make changes to your booking. So it could change how much you end up owing. Um, there are no single cruises on Carnival. And for, for the most part, most cruise lines where you get a single rate. So you're still going to end up paying double occupancy for your room. So the cruise was already paid for because I was going regardless. So it was just a matter of adding him back on and him having to pay his taxes and fees and gratuity. So he's back on the trip. We're leaving in about 24 days, 25 days. Okay. It's his first cruise. You know, guys, this is my fifth cruise. Second time on the Carnival Breeze. So I'm excited. Okay. If you haven't seen my Carnival Breeze series, go check it out. It is in my travel vlog series when it was Kinley's birthday last year. So we, I have been on the breeze. This will be my second go around on the breeze. So I don't want to get too deep into travel agent talk. If you guys are ready to book your next vacation, feel free to hit this link down in the description box as well as I'm going to put it across the screen so you guys can go check out the website as well as the Facebook page. Um, but other than that, guys, um, so this is my 39th birthday. So, you know, trying to do it big. It's the last year of my 30s. Um, I do have a possible group cruise coming up in 2024. So I did want to bring that to you guys' attention. Group cruise 2024 for my 40th birthday. So be looking on, the, well, excuse me, be on the lookout, whether it be YouTube, whether it be my TikTok channel. So y'all can go to check out my TikTok page as well as my Instagram and the Royal Retreats Facebook page for my travel agency about the group cruise. It is going to be a Virgin Voyages cruise. I'll let you guys know the details soon, as soon as I get all of that squared away. But be on the lookout for a group cruise coming December 2024. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all ready to turn up with Queen Bee? Y'all ready, Royal Gang? Because I want to see y'all. I want y'all to come out. I want y'all to come out. Okay? The big four zero, we doing it big. So... Other than that, guys, um, the other life update that I did want to let you guys know, um, as y'all know, I work from home. I've been working from home since 2021. Um, y'all know I worked briefly for Carnival for about a year, almost a year. Um, but I'm starting a second job this week. Um, actually begins on Wednesday. So I'm back in the travel industry again. Um, I don't want to go too far into details with it because, you know, you can't tell the internet everything, okay? The internet is why I lost my job at Carnival, so we're not going to say too much, but we're back in the travel industry as far as a second job. Y'all already know I have my travel agency. I'm still trying to get, you know, that off the ground, up and running. So I've been busy. I'm been busy. The queen has been busy, okay? Her, her kingdom is busy. Y'all know I have Jaden here now. His birthday was yesterday, so we took him out to dinner. 
Um, Kenley's still doing good. Everybody's good. We're trying to prepare for these holidays. I already, I can't believe that Thanksgiving is next week. So, you know, this year has flown by. 2023 has flown by. Has it been a doozy? Absolutely. Absolutely. But we made it through, okay? We saw the cup as half full, not half empty. And we made it through. We had some tough times this year. Absolutely. We had some tough times last year. But we're going to make it through and we're going to have an amazing end of 2023 and an amazing 2024 and beyond, okay? So I appreciate you guys for sticking with me through all the ups and downs and sideways, the rights, the lefts. But thanks for, you know, sitting and talking with me and packing with me, of course. And I'll see you guys soon. Love y'all, Royal Gang. Deuces.